The Invasion has begun. Hello again there friends and fans, Raptor here and welcome to Invasion Machine, a game coming out December of this year that you can already pre-order and or add to your wish list on Steam. I'll leave a link to it down below in the description, so if you'd like to see more of this game, make sure you go ahead and click tap blow up and destroy that like button to let me know you'd like to see more. And of course, modern conflicts and anything to do with the military and or guns will be suppressed by Susie, her cronies, and the algorithm, so do your part in smashing that like button. You guys are fantastic, so thanks for coming back where a recent update has made me want to play this game again. We're now in the green zone, controlled by blue four forces, and the invasion is about to begin as soon as we cross the border. We'll be tasked with capturing a crossroad area where the enemy's occupying, as well as uh, going to a village and securing it for our forces, so that way we can then further the invasion and win the hearts and minds of the locals, which I'm sure will uh, allow us to have peace in the Middle East and the war will be over by Christmas, and then we'll start that land war in Asia that we've been talking about. All great ideas, right? All right, so it looks like our first ob general objective is to search and destroy any sort of targets of interest inside the village, and our first main objective is Operation Mob Grandma, which essentially is us going to a crossroads and eliminating enemy troops that are there. So our troops are going to load up into these Humvees, and we are underway. In this game, you can make your own custom campaigns and military missions. So if you'd like to uh, recreate historical battles of the past or of recent history, you can do so with the editor that will be available in this game. But keep in mind, this is extremely early access, being made by just a very small team and or maybe just one person, and also uh, is going to be releasing a year from now. So all the things that you see could definitely be changed. And keeping that in mind, uh, if you comment down below on what you like or what you don't like or what you think could be improved or made easier, the developer has made recent updates based on your feedback from our last video. And we were the only ones to have a video on YouTube about, uh, let's see, a few months ago, about three or four months ago. And so it was really cool to see that the developer made changes based on what you thought. All right, we've got two... Humvees heading up the road. We're going to further our invasion now, heading up towards where there is a gas station up there in the distance. You can see it, and uh, there could be points along the road where the enemy could engage us. So we're going to try to crawl and go slow as we patrol for IEDs and ambushes, maybe RPGs. That's definitely a good point for an ambush there with a fuel truck. But anywhere the enemy could have snipers or whatnot, and uh, there is the Operation Mob Grandma. We need to secure this checkpoint here, eliminate all the enemy troops, and look at that. We have ourselves a large enemy vehicle, and I know the perfect remedy for that, an A-10 gun run. We have ourselves a uh, combat specialist who can uh, call in uh, strikes. I believe it's called, a, I forget exactly his name, a com command mission, I think is what it is. And he can call in A-10 strikes, artillery, uh, drone strikes, and also... Uh, bunker busters so that'll be quite useful we have two villages in the area as well the village of uh, quasar or quasar that we can uh, move into later to win hearts and minds and then also our initial village of shatra and once we take these villages we'll start setting up checkpoints that our troops can start uh, looking for contraband or weapons and ammos that enemies are uh, trying to bring into the area to make things harder for our troops oh it looks like we got a little bit of, sorry we're holding up the whole invasion here we got we got ourselves a truck that's and that's, this guy must be a driver for Amazon Prime. Check that out. He is definitely not wanting to be late. No invasion is holding him up. He doesn't want to get fired by Bezos. Okay. Well, we're going to go up to this first position here. I think we're going to uh, maybe park here and then proceed on foot. We now have a new operation, Operation Speed Death, which is talking to the locals inside the village. Well, that's a great operation to win hearts and minds. That's, that's a great name. I swear, those names... Uh, that uh, the U.S. military comes up with. It's just absolutely horrible for some of these operations. And uh, so is the driving of some of our troops. And keep in mind, the uh, recent update has made it so that way, the developer uh, made it so that way you can do things like uh, hiring interpreters and communicate with the locals and that type of stuff. So uh, the AI driving is bad. It will probably be fixed in the future. But again, keep in mind, super early access. A very early build of the game, mostly focused on balancing out combat, which is more important than driving, I suppose. All right, let's go ahead and dismount everybody out of these vehicles. Oh, wait a minute. What is that? Is that an enemy vehicle? Uh-oh, we're about to have ourselves some bad times. Uh-oh. Hold on. Oh, we got bad guys. Open up on them. We got a whole bunch of tangos. We need, we need a gun run right now. We need artillery support. Hold on. Well, let's see if we can call in a, uh, oh boy, we got guys all over. All right, we need Kaz. Let's go ahead and call in artillery. Close range. Uh, give me, give me, an, give me an artillery barrage. Maybe we can get uh, light mortars or something. This is obviously danger close, but I've realized with the artillery, uh, if you're any further than where we are now, the accuracy is actually lower and makes it worse. So this is way too danger close, but for this 
Yeah, this is awesome. Oh, you better, you better haul ass, sir. Damn, that guy's not going to be late to work just driving around the artillery. <laughs> go, baby, go. Oh, we got this guy suppressed here. Good effects on target. Nice work. So enemy vehicle was destroyed as well as some troops suppressed and or uh, eliminated. We still got a few combat uh, troops around here. And it looks like reinforcements are coming in from this uh, this power line there. Okay, we're, we're, we're in a tough spot now. At least our troops are somewhat in cover. Can you engage this troop, sir? That seems to be an awful big threat to you there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, interrogate this person. Hey, why are you shooting at me? No, open fire on him. Oh, yes, and of course you can engage by uh, left shift, too. You made it a lot easier that way. Excellent. All right, enemy down. We've got one more jumping out of the truck after it's been toast. Excellent work, boys. Enemy presence decreasing in the AO. Wonderful. Uh, command is happy with us. Command points are up to 15, which will allow us to buy new vehicles and also uh, troops. We can bring in special forces if we want to, additional reinforcements, and uh, make things a lot easier. We can also set rules of engagement, too, so we can tell our troops to fire at only vehicles if they return fire or are acting suspicious or hold fire or open fire on everything. So that's good as well. So uh, Operation Speed Death, I, I would say, is off to a good start as uh, these guys are quickly dying, especially those by the uh, telephone pole there. I'm going to bring our vehicle up here, see if we can get up over the top and start shooting on those guys too. Okay, let's call in a uh, A-10 gun run just for fun. Actually, no, let's call in another artillery strike. Let's have our, uh, what is this guy's name? Combat Controller is the name of the uh, guy who can call in the strikes. So good job so far. Uh, we'll let Amazon Prime get through first. Definitely want that guy to get his new coffee table and or, uh, I guess, uh, reading lamp. And you can see up there the combat patrol is probably aware of our presence now after all that, but they're not going to react to us. And blue presence in the area is now at 8%, so it's up to us to take over those villages and do additional things to increase that. All right, combat controller's a little closer. I want to hit artillery again. I think that'll be sweet. But let's try a bunker buster? No, let's try artillery barrage. Now, as you can see, as we've called this in a lot further away, it's going to decrease the effectiveness. As you can see there, if you look very closely, it says accuracy is basically 0%, minus 10 for no line of sight, and negative 50 for being called in afar. But artillery is artillery, so you don't really need to you know, be GPS guided. You just need to suppress these guys. And uh, there we go. So they're looking for us. And if we actually uh, abandon our Jeeps on the road, our Humvees, uh, enemies will come and capture our vehicles and or locals will come and like GTA them. So we don't want to go too far away from them. Probably no further than the gas station until we're in trouble. All right, let's go ahead and move in on these guys. They definitely have run out of there. Go ahead and engage that one. There you go. Open up on them, boys. Some of our troops are getting stressed out, too. I'm not exactly sure how to get them on R&R, &R, which is the solution uh, to getting them uh, kind of uh, ready for combat again. So that's something I'm going to have to figure out in the future, as well as calling in reinforcements. We can call them into our HQ, but we don't necessarily have an HQ yet. And the gas station, to me, seems like a great HQ, but uh, definitely can't do anything with it just yet. Also, we might have uh, troops to Kazivac, so hopefully we can do that. If we get any KIA, it's uh, somewhat difficult, I think, to remove troops at the moment from battle and, and try to save their lives. And in addition, I don't see any way to uh, refuel or rearm our troops. So logistics isn't a thing yet, but again, this detail will definitely have something like that in the future. All right, we've got guerrilla fighters. One's down. Second one now. Oh, hold fire, boys. Hold fire for war crimes. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow, these people are just B.A. Nobody cares. They're just driving like it's a normal day. All right, one less enemy. Excellent. Tango's down. Good job, boys. Let's, uh, oh, we can actually hop in their vehicle, too, if we want to. A military 4x4. Four four. But let's go ahead and hop in our own Jeep. Our own Humvee. And we're going to start moving towards the gas station now. Excellent work. I don't like these names. Can we rename these? Can anybody come up with... These are these are either high school band names, death metal name, Mob Grandma and Speed Death. Who came up with these? Can you guys come up with better names down below in the comments section? Like Operation uh, Trust the Midas Touch and Operation America Run on, Runs on Duncan or something. I don't know. Way better than these names. All right, let's roll up this way. I love how the developer did it, though. I, I believe it's randomly generated each time. The objectives are the same, but they try to keep the names interesting. All right, um, amount of enemies eliminated. We've killed all of them. All enemies <laughs> eliminated. All right, I guess that's good. You're doing better than expected. The high command is pleased with results. Excellent. Well, at least we're getting some good feedback from high command. All right, we're going to pull over at the gas station now and uh, see if we can get in. I'm going to pull in for some jerky, I think. Let's go ahead and pull up to one of the pumps. So 
We can actually rebuild this building. Check this out. Social project gas station. Inactive constructed progress. You're out of a thousand. Can be reopened with the help of your troops. So eventually we can make this like an HQ and bring locals in here and really win over the hearts and minds of people by giving them jobs and places to socialize and things like that. So it's much more than just a military simulator. That's incredible. It's an invasion machine. All right, so now we have gone up to 236 from 200 and up to 652 from 500. So confidence is growing in our invasion. We can now buy additional units with combat points. So we can get in uh, three more ground troops with 40 command points. We can call in an unarmed Humvee or a cargo truck, uh, which, uh, let's see, carries five troops. Combat controller for close air support. Medical staff, EOD, armored transporter, which is another Humvee with a 50 cal. Or special operators for 300 points. Unfortunately, if we call them in, I don't exactly uh, know where they come in from, so we'll hold off on that until we get some more points. I'll try to spend it on maybe higher quality troops and see what that does for us. Okay, let's dismount passengers. I want to, uh, let's see, we have the, is this driver and gunner? I can't quite even see what that says. I'm just going to ask uh, crew to stay. So I think that only keeps uh, the people who are on the, uh, the gun and the driver. Let's see, is there a way, you know what, I'm just going to ask everybody to hop out. Especially our medic, too. Whoa, okay. Sir? Could you come back here? Space Force isn't a thing yet. You gotta wait a little while. Thank you. Okay, that was nice of him. There's... <laughs> he, was, he was about to go uh, AWOL. No, you don't, Max Lang. No, you don't, sir. Alright, let's go on over here. Let's gather up the boys and take a head count for a quick second. Figure out who's who and what what's what with our troops. So we've got our, let's see, our, our squad lead, I think, is the one with the star. Or is that somebody who's a uh, veteran now, or whatever. More skilled. There we go. Yeah, he's definitely got some good kills there. Okay, so I want to give a couple of uh, jobs. Okay, we want our medic here. I want two dudes to be inside, uh, let's see, the Humvee. So we'll have PFC. We'll have, uh, what is that, Max? Is that his name? Max? Man, I think. And then also our translator he's going to be useful let's keep him inside the humvee as well we don't want to kazi back him we need to be able to talk to the locals so let's keep him protected and he can drive too okay so now our next part of the operation so we've gotten into a, a firefight already that's exciting we're going to park here to ambush any more fighters that come our way we're going to keep the humvee there that can defend it but now i'm going to try to do a little bit of a uh, a mission where we call in a fire mission uh, danger close to our uh, troop here, our, our combat controller. So let's see if we can send him up there. So far, so good. This is very exciting. This is the most fun I've had in this game so far. Okay, so let's get all of our troops to uh, kind of take a knee. So we can command squads here, but I like to do it individually since we have such a limited number of troops. So let's have uh, Jordan Milk is his name, I guess. All right, well, head on, uh, head on up there, Milk. I hope you're. Uh, I hope uh, these guys are definitely uh, lactose tolerant. Let's see if we can get up this way. So he can actually go up here uh, crouched or even prone to be stealthy. So we're going to have him go prone and get real close to the enemy uh, fighters. So I'm going to stay away from the road. You never know when a jeep or a truck's going to come around. And the enemy will actually scout for us in basic civilian vehicles, which is a good point to start setting up roadblocks and checking vehicles. But we're going to stay behind on that one. We're just going to kind of keep everyone here just in case uh, milk needs to be rescued. But let's actually bring our troops back over this way to defend the jeep and the... Uh, and the roadway. So we'll tell our troops to go over there. So is everybody calm? Looks like they're all good now after that fight. So that's good. And then we'll let Max get up there. Is that his name, Max? Jordan, sorry. He's a corporal now. Corporal Jordan Reed is going up there to uh, call in a ar couple of artillery strikes. And boy, is he really going slow. Let's uh, pick it up a little bit, bud. And let's also don't, don't engage. Only return fire. Don't engage new targets. Keep him as stealthy as possible. All right. Well, command is certainly happy with our achievements so far. Our main goal today is at least to get to that village, so I'm going to try to spread out our troops a little bit to uh, make sure we can pop anybody who is going to try to mess with us. There we go. All right. So let's see. Dispatch. Uh, click here if you need more units on the map. Well, I'm, I am clicking, but okay. I wonder if we can buy units and then click to deploy. We're only at 84 points, so I'd rather try to eliminate more of these dudes. Let's get uh, Milk a little closer now. He's ready to... He's going to be utterly devastating here for the enemy. Let's get a little closer. He can peek in from here and call in an artillery strike. As you've seen before, we need to be, like, literally inside the vehicle we want destroyed by an A-10. It's like, hey, can you call in Broken Arrow Strike? All right, there he goes. Wow, is he crawling? Literally. 
Alright, so it looks like... Oh, some troops are getting stressed out now. Looks like he wants some R&R. &R. I'm not exactly sure how to do that just yet. Uh, let's see here. I believe that gives us... Let's see, what can we do here? Any of these? Oh, that must be his rank. I don't know what, I don't know what any of those mean. And what did that say at the bottom? Rotation time, 87% left. Oh, so we can get new troops and put them into rotation as well. That's in incredible. So this mission could take a very, 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 very long time. You could pl be playing this for hours and get new troops during the mission because of the uh, rotation time. That's interesting. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if we can call in our artillery. Once we get here, I'm going to actually just speed this up. I hope he doesn't get seen, but I definitely don't want it to take 45 minutes for him to crawl into position. also don't want to be seen by trucks like that. It could be loaded with combatants. Okay, let's sneak up here. There we go. And let's hit the deck. All right, good. I hope they don't see us. Okay, we're going to call in everything on top of this just for the memes. So uh, let's call in a bunker buster on top of the truck. Let's go ahead and go with a bunker buster. Let's hit an A-10 there too. This is going to be inaccurate, so it really doesn't matter where I call it in at. Let's call in an A-10 gun run. Let's call in a few strikes of artillery at random. Artillery. Artillery. A-10 is coming in. Artillery. Okay, let's see this whole thing go to hell. Let's watch the magic. Woo! Hell yeah. Well, that looked like it was a direct hit on top of that vehicle. Unfortunately, the bird actually missed. But regardless, they're getting hit hard. Or maybe that was the A-10. Looks like the artillery is also being fired way far up there. Oh, nice. A direct hit on the enemy vehicle. Beautiful. And let's hit him one more time. Uh-oh, Amazon Prime's coming through. Uh-oh. Let's see if he can make it through. You're going to drive into the artillery. That's crazy. Wow, Amazon Prime does not stop for a damn thing. In this fire mission, ended up harming civilians. We must be more careful. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's fine. He's still driving that truck. He's hauling ass. Well, that's kind of cool, though, that they consider that, though. All right, let's move in now with our, our troops. Let's get everybody on the line and uh, roll up there. And he can keep spawning from up there. Man, Amazon does not stop for nothing. Okay, let's move up that way. Bring the Humvee up there as well. And we'll just huff it just a little little bit up there. 94 points, excellent. Most of these guys have been eliminated. Hell, I'd rather uh, hit the position than not. That's cool, though, that you need to be cautious about vehicles coming through. And uh, be be careful for civilians. So what I could have done actually is stopped the uh, roadway. I could have told somebody to stand here and then did traffic control and told them to stop incoming traffic or keep civilians away. So that's another cool thing too that I had forgotten about that we could actually do to stop that. So it is good to see that there's consequences for those types of things. Like it, it's interesting to see that that's a part of the game is uh, making sure that you do missions with a surgical strike and not just like a blanket artillery. But I was just doing that to also see what it looks like. Looks like there's one more enemy troop out there, and he's coming on back. He's wondering what happened to his friends. So let's go ahead and let him know exactly what happened. Could be more uh, combatants coming. Oh, apparently somebody was wounded here. What happened? Oh, looks like somebody got hit by a truck or something. <laughs> yeah, those Amazon Prime dudes don't mess around. Uh, the village could also have troops, too enemy troops, so we'll need to be cautious about that. They could come from the village, but we've got our squad here engaging. Oh yeah, that guy doesn't stand a chance. Get him, boys. And the jeep engaging as well. Alright, we got enemy, or friendly vehicles fleeing. Let's get over this way. Command points are being earned. Excellent. That man has been suppressed. Let's get our... Oh, wait! They're coming out of the tree line! Whoa! Okay, we need to get over here. Operation uh, Mob Grandma was completed, but... Reinforcements have come in. I think his head exploded. Well, okay. Let's head over this way. Now, let's see if we can call in a, a strike here from Milk. Do we have any... Uh, we can also call in tactics and stuff. Milk, you got any calls for us? Uh, I think he's out of CAS for now. More enemy troops are coming in. Let's get him down here by the road. Tango's closing in, he says. Yep. Let's keep everybody together. Are we ever going to get a break or what? Well, I would if I knew how to give you one, sir. 
I'll need to learn that. I'm I'm still a general in training. It's it's my first day as general. <laughs> you know those those new trainee generals. All right, more vehicles are coming in. I really need to stop vehicles from coming in. Let's uh, set up a roadblock here. Oh, artillery is available. Scratch that. Let's call on that Artie. Okay, more more objectives completed. Good job, boys. All right, fire mission is available. I don't know if I think I'm going to save these actually for the uh, for the for the village. It could be could be Harry in there. Let's call him back. Enemy vehicle there has just been shredded. Good to see that. All right, let's line up our troops. All right, we have 125 points. I'd like to call in another armored transporter, which is at uh, 200. So let's stand by a little bit and try to get another vehicle. I think those are going to be much better for us. Okay, so stressed out troops. I'll need to learn eventually on how to get that stress level down. It says 37 needs R&R &R and break. I wonder if that just means just chilling out, just staying put for a while and letting them kind of have... R and R. I don't see functions for that, and there's rotation time and such. So, it'd be cool to learn what that is in the future. All right, mob grandma has been completed. Plus five for that. Good job. Uh, if we had more troops here, we could definitely stay on patrol. But we need to keep moving. So let's do it. We gotta we gotta stay on our feet, gentlemen. Good job. All right, enemy uh, report intel. So it looks like there are patrols around looking for us. So they're coming in from. Oh, it looks like a foot patrol. I think we eradicated that foot patrol earlier. I think there were additional troops here. And here coming in on us. I don't even remember when I last slept. Yeah, we, we definitely need R&R. &R. However we do it, we should do it. Okay, let's drive the vehicle there. I think actually what we need to do is uh, have a command uh, center set up for that. And I think we abandoned the uh, vehicle, didn't I? I should probably not do that anymore. I forgot all about that. A-10 gun run is available again. Let's send one troop back to uh, grab that vehicle. He's going to huff it back to the gas station then pick that up. I, I think, honestly, we can turn the gas station into an HQ, and that's where our future troops will go. Although I didn't... Uh, the developers even sent me an email on kind of what's new and what to do, but some things might be incomplete, though I'm certain there's a way to do that. Regardless, let's keep on with our mission. Troops are a little stressed out, but they're getting better. Let's see if some of that's dropped down. 36%, yep. 43%, yep. All right, bring that vehicle over here. Well, this will be a good mission for Alan Barton. All right, provide security by posting guards in the villages. Deliver, hu deliver human aid. I think that means human human aid or something. Try opening social projects. Uh, relations are deteriorating. Oh, it didn't actually go down that far. It went like from 40 to 20. But uh, the Kai Command is way happy with us. That's good. Excellent work. Great guns keep them coming. That's cool. So you get a report card every couple of minutes on what's good and what's not. Oh, there's the enemy patrols. So the enemy could come back. And as we see here, these guys are armed with AKs and could possibly take the uh, gas station back and or engage our troops. So we need a lot more troops in order to um, secure the area. What I should do is call in additional troops uh, by buying them with command points. But if I do that, I, I've tried this before and they don't seem to, I don't see them spawn in. I don't know where they go or where to get them. So we'll have to figure that out. Luckily, though, we are getting uh, friendly with command and uh, distrustful with the locals. We'll reestablish that now by going into the village, setting up checkpoints and making things a little bit better uh, with everyone. We need this vehicle here, though, the basic transport for Kazivac if we uh, get wounded. All right, I'm going to try to go this way to engage with the village from here, so that way we're not attacking the village head on. I want to come in for a flank. So let's see if we can get the troops inside the vehicles yet again. And let's get everyone loaded up. Uh, do we have five men here? Okay, let's have one of these guys hop in there. And the rest of these three can hop into that vehicle. Is that three troops there? I think so, yeah. So let them, let them get a little rest inside the vehicles. Maybe there's AC. I, I don't know. But we'll uh, start establishing that trust again very soon. Cool. Regardless, this is just sweet to see it all taking place and seeing that we can do this. It really feels like... Um, uh, kind of like an Arma game from up top in some ways. The ability to call in Kaz and st stuff like that. Alright, there we are. Okay, so both vehicles are going to go that way. So we should be setting up patrols and things like that, but we need more troops to do it. I'd love to do that. That's, that's going to be really cool. Imagine now if we had this whole area under our control and, uh, you know, like for example, we're running search and seizures on uh, both villages and then we're also, uh, you know, patrolling 
uh, the roads and we have checkpoints set up and then the enemy hits a checkpoint and then everyone can come and uh, deal with that. That'd be really cool to see, you know, just doing uh, security around a, a newly green green zone. All right, our last objective, Operation Speed Death. Well, that's uh, pretty appropriate. Our two Humvees are speeding in. I don't see any stats on the Humvees at all, other than condition of the vehicle and armor. And we can also send the vehicle back to HQ, which I believe is off-map. So if I dispatch units to the... with, If I buy them from the uh, from command, they go to the HQ. So we might have to send a vehicle back to pick them up. I don't know exactly how that works, but we're under kind of a little time constraint today. So I'm just going to try to strike the vill village with what we've got and see if I can call in another... Uh, Humvee. Would be really cool is if you could call in a Humvee fully loaded with troops. That would be awesome. Call in a whole nother squad, like a four-man squad in a Humvee or more. That'd be kind of cool. And then you can get two extra soldiers to hop out whenever they need. Alright, well, we're making our way across the desert. I, f I feel like the invasion started so short notice that they didn't even have time to paint them. And apparently uh, they're using Swedish camouflage. So, hey, Yasvaria. Yogtela into Svenska. Uh, it's more sense. All right, let's try to hit the village of Shatra now. And uh, so I don't, I can't use artillery here, right? There's civilians all inside the buildings. We might be able to use bunker busters if we can get close enough, and if we know for sure that the enemy's inside of a certain building. But I think we just want to clear this by hand and then start setting up checkpoints from here. So from here on out, what we would do is we'd secure this village and set up a checkpoint, and use all the remaining uh, points that we had to set up another checkpoint here. And then possibly another one at the gas station, too. So that way we hold valuable points of interest. And wow, have we just laid a, a wake of destruction behind us? That's crazy how many just dead and wounded there are. I don't know if there's any benefit to actually, uh, you know, healing up those troops. Like, can we send them back to base and in interrogate them or something? I, I don't know. Okay, well, let's launch the last uh, effort here, and then our troops can finally go on R&R. &R. Uh, let's see, I want to get everybody out again, and then we'll just figure out who is in the, uh, who is in the gun. I think this time we want our interpreter to be inside as well, just like last time. Yep, okay. Uh, no traffic control, just move here, there. Okay, so now we've got ourselves some troops moving this way, and we've got our vehicle coming up. Perfect. All right, everybody's a little stressed out, but we'll finish this uh, operation up, and then they will be able to get some good R&R &R inside that village. We'll take some of the... Oh, item de delivered. Oh, looks like we can search the houses, too. Alright, there's some enemy combatants. Alright, let the operation begin. Operation Speed Death is a go. Start sprinting, boys. Okay, there's got those have got to be bad guys right there. Oh, no, they're not armed. Good. Okay, this might be an easier operation than we thought. Let's stay near the Humvee. We've abandoned that other one. Hopefully they don't come back. <laughs> Hopefully they don't GTA it. That'd be funny. Boy, imagine U.S. troops finding that you stole a uh, Humvee like that. It's in your backyard and you're, like, uh, taking it apart or something like that. Or trying to pimp out the rims. Okay, looks like we have entered the... Oh! Never mind. Whoa, whoa, where are, you, where are you going, boys? Hold on. All right, our troops are just running all sorts of craziness. Can I get you guys to lay down? Guys, take cover. Okay, I definitely don't want to do a A-10 run or anything in here. I must have clicked, and the AI went wild trying to, to move into a very narrow area. Okay, enemy suppressed. Tango down. Good. Now we're definitely going to be really distrustful with these guys because now we're inside their villages. Oh, it looks like we're regaining some of the trust. Very good. Okay. Let's clean up the rest of this village and we're out. So there's a whole other village on the other side of the map to take care of. We've got checkpoints to set up. We've got additional units that we could possibly buy. I'm going to try to get a little bit more points so that way we can... Uh, possibly call in a vehicle. Reinforcements are a thing. I want to see it in action. The village has not yet been secure. So let's move up this way. Looks like we're okay over there. Troops are moving around. I 
Now, there was an item delivered there, so we could definitely check that out. There's got to be more uh, enemy combatants around here who just haven't returned. They must be out on some sort of patrol, so we can definitely take the village in no time. As soon as they come back. Yada, yada, yada. I know. <laughs> okay, so we've got civilians here now. We're going to uh, set up a base on the road. We're going to start setting up a roadblock. Okay, wounded enemies. Yep, yeah, we'll leave them there. So what I'd like to do now is start interrogating the locals. We'll get the uh, interpreter out of the car and start chatting with people, the locals, and then we'll start looking for... Uh, any sort of IEDs or equipment or something like that as soon as the Jeep can figure out the pathway to get up here. Jeez, it is not that hard, dude. Come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> Are you kidding me? We're st we've gone all this way and we're getting stuck in a pit? That ground should totally be uh, passable by this vehicle. Oh, come on now. Really? Yeah, see if you can go up that way. Wow. All right, well, some sort of, like, uh, rough terrain or something there. That doesn't look like it's rough, so we'll go back this way. All right, so now with these additional troops, we should be able to secure the village from any other uh, troops that may return. I'm assuming there's enemies probably out on patrol looking for us, not even knowing that we just took the village. We'll also have to get that other vehicle back. Boy, the AI just constantly doing the same thing over and over, man. That's annoying. Oh, an item delivered. What does that mean exactly? I guess we've, we've got like a drone view over the village and we can find out if the enemy has actually uh, delivered stuff and we can check and see what it was. Okay, let's go ahead and stop here and defend the car. There we go. Let's just get everybody out. All right, well, that's worthless. We'll, we'll leave the Humvee there. I wanted to keep it inside, but that's fine. We certainly should not abandon a vehicle with a 50 cal in it. The enemy could capture it and use it against us. But let's go on with what we're supposed to do, which is checking out all of the locals now. So where's our interrogator? Or our uh, translator. I think he might be back in that other vehicle. Okay, let's see. Oh, the gunner's in there. He's the interpreter inside. So he was still there. All right, come on back then. Cool. Very good. All right, I want to just chat with a local and see what we can do. Uh, let's see, engage movement, move here, engage. No, I don't want to do any of that. You're in the interpreter. I want you to interpret. What do they say? Engage, movement, engage. Can I... No. Ah, oh, doesn't look like I can chat with him yet. We might be looking for, like, a village leader or something like that or, or a specific home, but... Anyway, boys, that is it for our additional look at Invasion Machine coming soon, very, very soon. There's still a lot more to do and a lot more for me to learn, and I can't wait until there's more features, uh, more tutorials, and more missions to kind of learn by doing. So this has been absolutely fantastic. I hope you guys enjoyed. I just have like one or two troops to clean up, so we'll get that done, and Operation Speed Death is completed. The game will continue on to capturing this large village here, so if you want to see more of it, let me know by smacking that uh, like button and let, let me know you want to see more. Otherwise, we can send our interpreter up there and go chat with the villagers there and do so, so much more. All right, you guys have been fantastic. Thanks, as always, for the support, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for the, thanks for the love. You guys are great. Thank you very much.